What's up guys, Kenny here and back another video today. And today we're just gonna be playing some Ice Bow and trying to hit Ultimate Champion with the Valkyrie variant. So, I know it's been a while, but without further ado, let's get started. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe and also share this video with a friend if you found this entertaining, fun, or just helpful. And right now we're up against Fenris from Dark Phoenix Clan. I'm gonna go Ice Wizard in the corner. I don't go Ice Wizard behind my King Tower against Firecracker just because Firecracker is able to get more damage if you cycle it behind your King Tower. So that's why I always like to go in the corner. Uh, let's go Valkyrie in the back just to kind of set up for a push, an expo push. Um, yeah, we can honestly let that Tesla go. I don't want to waste my skeletons. Not that skeletons are that important anyways. Let's go NATO. And he has Mega Knight, so this is going to be interesting to see how we defend this. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to go with a weird Tesla here. I'm going to go Valkyrie here, down below, making sure I target his Hog Rider. And that's kind of why I like the Valkyrie rather than the Knight. I know I was playing Knight last video, but Valkyrie is just able to get so much value and is able to hit multiple targets at once. That's that's why I think Valkyrie is the better choice in Ice Bow. Uh, let's log his mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, that's sad. We weren't able to get any value. Skeleton's here for his bomber. Perfect defense. So this matchup, I think this is my matchup. Like, let's say I played aggressively at the start. We probably would have lost if we were too aggressive with our expo. Like, playing our expo with no support cards. But we're just playing really passively now, and I think that's what we should be doing. Okay, and we got the King Tower activated, so I'm not too worried about how this match is going to end. Um, let's go expo. Let's get our Val- Oh shoot, you're too slow. You're way too slow on that. We probably would have gotten like a connection or won the game just right off that lock if we had gotten our Valkyrie down in time. That's kind of unfortunate, but I think we can recover. Uh, this is gonna be trouble. We have still have to take care of the bats. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go log on his ra not his rascal, his firecracker. Let's go skeletons. Hopefully we can cycle back to our NATO. Perfect. So we didn't need to NATO that to King necessarily. We just needed to do some type of NATO to do something there. Let's go defensive expo since I don't think he has a big spell. And my plan here is to cycle back to another Expo so I'm able to get two Expos down on the field. Let's go Ice Wizard again on the side he wants to attack. Just so we have more defense. And honestly, we can just go in right here because there's no way he's able to break through this uh, offensive Expo. And let's see what happens here. I think this is a lock. Nice, so this is a connection. I'm gonna go Ice Wizard to support because I don't think he's gonna be able to uh, defend if I have like a support unit as well. Let's NATO that Firecracker in and he might go Mega Knight. Does he have Mega Knight Elixir? Nope, and that's GG. So first game, we played that pretty well. Okay, we're up against Campo 5 from the Temporo clan. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go Tesla up high first, but I wanna wait a bit before I go Tesla. Uh, start off with a log. And let's see if he does something. Yeah, so let's just go Tesla up high. And what I'm gonna do is, once we hit 10 Elixir, I'm gonna go Expo. And this is going to give us a slight elixir lead while also allowing us to, get to control the map with our um, Tesla. So let's go Expo. 
Okay, I'm gonna go Valkyrie opposite lane. Hopefully this forces out more elixir out of him. Nice. We probably honestly should have just played it same lane. But I thought opposite lane would have worked as well. But I didn't think he would have like Phoenix. Okay, I'm okay with this start. We got damage on both sides. So I want to say we got about... Maybe like 400 damage in total. Uh, let's try to activate this. I doubt this is... Yeah. Yeah, I should have known. We did damage... Wow, he's giving us some a bit of BM. We did damage the goblins a little bit. That's why we probably weren't able to get the activation. But I think that's fine. And notice how I played my Tesla like this. I don't like playing my Tesla in the middle against Goblin Hut. Just because the goblins are able to like sneak past the Tesla and get a few shots. So I always try to play it kind of one tile over. Let's log his hut. I know we're going to miss some goblins there, but I want to to get the extra ones. Let's Tesla to help out on, on defense. Really awkward ability there. I'm not sure why he played at that time. If I were him, I probably would have delayed on my ability a bit. Let's Ice Wizard the Goblins and go Expo right away since his tank is out of cycle. Let's also go Log and then Tesla. Just to kind of support our Expo. And I doubt this Expo is going to get any damage. So let's try to cycle back to another Expo. Oh shoot, he has Goblin Hut. So we have to actually play our Ice Wizard on defense now. So Goblin Hut, guys, is like a really, really... OP card. I'm gonna go Expo here in the middle tile because I don't know why, but it makes people's like brain freeze because they're not used to seeing that Expo. And it looks like we got a good lock, so I think we're gonna be able to win. Honestly, all we have to do is defend. And uh, I just realized I probably should have tried to activate first instead of Ice Wizard. Let's try to activate now. And yeah, we failed. He's giving us a bit of BM again, so this guy thinks he, he can beat us. That's alright, that's alright. Let's go defensive expo on the left. Notice how I played it one tower over, and... And like, towards the left, because I know he has poison, and this is the anti-poison defensive expo. So now we're gonna be able to have our expo alive. And ready for offense if we choose to do offense so obviously I'm not I wasn't gonna go expo there because I didn't feel like it was right and he kind of tried to preempt to predict our our expo that was a good prediction but it was ill-timed in my opinion let's go skeletons here to kite his Phoenix so Valkyrie ice wizard up high to catch his goblins and it's, this is probably going to be a rocket cycle game, so let's start our rocket cycle now. I'm going to activate King, and we actually got it this time, so let's give him the BM back that he was giving us earlier. So, so far so good. I'm going to log his goblins away, Valkyrie. And, yeah, let's Ice Wizard. We have to try to defend this. I don't want him to accidentally, like, win. So let's go rocket first. And this log as well. Hopefully this is enough. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I got kind of worried there. If we didn't have our NATO in cycle, we probably would have lost. Okay, we're up against Ivanda from Team Hunter. Let's give him the good luck. Uh, we don't have Tesla in hand, so this is kind of weird. So we have to start off with an Ice Wizard. I know some people usually start with Tesla, but like... I mean skeletons, but I feel like Ice Wizard is a good starting play, especially if you have Expo in rotation, but I guess I didn't have Expo in rotation, so it doesn't really matter either way. I'm just kind of seeing what the opponent has in single elixir. Let's go Ice Wizard down below so we're able to get an activation. Perfect, so I think this the skeleton should be able to clean up his firecracker as well. And so far, so good. I'm honestly happy with this start. We didn't take too much damage, and we got the king activation. So as an ice bow user, 
This is a situation we want. Let's rock it here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we, we definitely did that on purpose, guys. That was definitely on purpose. This is not good at all. I think the Lumberjack might have been slowing down the Ram Rider. Or maybe I just had bad aim. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Did the Lumberjack uh, slow down the Ram Rider? Or do we just have bad aim? I'm going to go in with an Expo and get our Valkyrie ready. Because I know he has Mega Knight in hand. Let's catch his Mega Knight. And I was expecting it to jump. Uh, so we're probably not going to be able to get a connection. And he was forced to overspend on our Expo. Uh, honestly, I'm going to let that jump as well. That probably wasn't a smart play, but I feel like I didn't want to spend like an Ice Wizard to defend that. Okay, let's Ice Wizard and then Expo right away. Because I know his Mega Knight, his main tank, is at a cycle. And perfect timing here. We're going to get NATO as well. And let's also log. And I think we should be able to get connection here, guys. We do. Nice. I'm going to go Valkyrie opposite lane. And he forced to spend more elixir on my expo there. So I think this should be able to get at least two swings. Uh, only one. But I think that's fine, honestly. Um, we have to make sure we defend this Ram Rider well. Or we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to log his firecracker then go in. Hopefully we keep our ice wizard alive. No. Uh, this might cause problems for us, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go skeletons for his Mega Knight. Let's log here. We have to go Ice Wizard. So if we kept our Ice Wizard alive, I'm confident we probably would have been able to get some damage. Okay, let's Tesla as well. That was kind of an overcommitment on my end, but I feel like that was necessary, especially to avoid a Ram Rider charge. I'm gonna- ooh, really nice Mega Knight. I- he probably should have placed it towards the other lane since that was the lane I was going for. So that was kind of a weird Mega Knight, in my opinion. Let's go test up high for his Firecracker. And hopefully we're able to break through right here. Oh, really nice uh, Executioner by the opponent. So he's not playing this badly. Honestly, what we should be doing is rocket cycling, but I'm kind of scared that it won't be enough. So that's why I'm trying to go for the, ex the expo while I still can, and while I still have time, but let's see if that is the cause of our downfall here. Really, really clean NATO log, oh my gosh. I know you guys saw that, that, that was insane. I'm gonna rocket his tower for some damage. Let's Valkyrie to pull everything towards the middle. I'm gonna go log to stop the Ram Rider from charging. Let's also try to stop the Dark Goblin. I don't want the Dark Goblin to connect, because if that connects, we lose. Perfect, so... Um, let's have Valkyrie over to the side, so he's not able to get splash damage from his Firecracker. Skeletons to help out against his Mega Knight. I have the defensive expo, so this is really weird. Bro, no! Did we lose? Bro! That was so close. Yeah, that's kind of upsetting. We were supposed to win there, but I guess we didn't play too well on the defensive end. I should, should have defensive exposed. We're up against DB Friend from Dark Brotherhood. So let's. Whoa, okay, we can't start off with the log, so I'm gonna start off with the Valkyrie. Just so we can get back to our Valkyrie, another Valkyrie. Let's log the left side, the side where we don't have any troops on. And he has Goblin Hut as well, so this is going to be a really challenging match. We're going to have to unfortunately NATO, and we force out a Poison, so this is interesting. Poison recruits Goblin Hut. I'm not sure what deck he's playing. And again, like I did earlier in the video, I'm playing my Tesla over to the left, one tile. On the side of his dark goblin, not dark goblin, but his goblin hut. Just so 
he, his goblins aren't able to bypass my Tesla. So that was a nice cleanup from my Tesla. Uh, still defensive expo since he uses poison. And I don't really want to go in just yet. And I don't feel like cycling in the back would have been a good idea there. Just because our cycle is a bit weird for some reason. He has a Sparky. Okay, this is... I don't know what kind of deck this is. So Recruits, Poison, Sparky. It's pretty interesting. Uh... Let's see. I can't really go in since he have re recruits in cycle. I might need an ice wizard or yeah, let's ice wizard first and then Tesla. Cause I want to keep my Tesla as healthy as possible to hopefully defend. So let's go defensive expo again. Okay. So we forced out a poison, so that's good. I can't really go log on the Goblin Hit Hut yet. And I'm really liking the setup that we have. I'm going to make sure I hit the Recruits as well as the Goblins. Perfect. So let's Ice Wizard on the right side. Valkyrie the middle. NATO this flying machine in. And look at that Valkyrie put in the work. You can't really do that tonight with Knight. I'm going to go in with an Offensive Expo on the left. Perfect, so I'm gonna also go Tesla. Hopefully we clean up the second Zappy. I'm gonna log his Sparky. Skeleton's down low, Ice Wizard to slow down the Sparky and clean up his other Zappy. And we get a connection onto this tower, so this is huge, guys. As long as we're able to defend, I think we should win, but I'm gonna try to go in again, since we have Valkyrie in hand. Let's see if he's able to break through our our offense right now. I mean, try to def if he can defend this. Uh, really nice zappies. Yeah, I think he defended that fine. We're going to have to go Valkyrie, unfortunately. Let's go Tesla as well to help clean up. Nice. And how are we going to stop the Sparky? I might need to rocket his recruits and his Sparky at the same time. Let's see, see if he plays recruits in front and he does. Perfect. So this is a very valuable rocket. Ice Wizard down below. And honestly, I might even activate King right now. Just because I feel like that's really important in this matchup. If you can activate King against recruits, I would always try to do it. Okay. So now we can kind of be a lot more chill since we got King activated. But not too chill. Okay, let's rocket that because I don't know why he just gave us a free rocket right there. Especially in the situation he's in. Let's log the right and Valkyrie the left while also playing our Tesla in the middle. Let's skeletons as well to prevent damage. We're gonna have to log this again. It's defensive expo low. Even if he poisons, that's fine. Let's NATO. Oh shoot, really really nice recruits by the opponent. And we just have to defend this. If we defend this, we win. Oh, this is too close. Okay, let's go Ice Wizard and hopefully we can get another rocket down. Uh, I don't think we have enough time. We have to cycle back to a log. It's a log. Let's go! Okay. That was way too close, guys. That was way too close. If he put down another poison, we would have lost. So I'm glad we were able to win there. And on to the next game. Okay, we're up against T.S. Avra. And so he probably knows us because he's giving us the wow. He's from Indian Clashers. Let's Ice Wizard the back to match his Electro Wizard. And I really want to go in for an Expo. So let's go Expo right now. Since we do have an Ice Wizard still up. And he's down like 4 Elixir. Basically. We're probably going to have to go Valkyrie on this. And he might honestly get 
like two shots on our tower, unfortunately. Let's NATO this back. Okay, so he was only able to get one shot, and he's giving us the BM. So we're definitely going to remember that BM that he just gave us. And we're just going to try our best to win. Because he knows he has a good matchup on us. I'm going to try to go in again and predict his cannon with our skeletons. Oh, shoot. He has Monk. Bro, that's so unfair. This Ice Wizard is bummer. Man. Monk is not what you want to see when you're playing against Royal Giant. If you guys don't know, Royal Giant is probably one of the worst matchups you can get with Ice Bow. Especially if they have Fireball and Monk. So this is not good on our end. Uh, let's go Tesla in a weird spot right here to the right and go Expo as well. And the reason why I did one tile to the right, so it's able to support my offensive Expo while also pulling his RG at the same time. So that's just a cool little interaction that you guys can use in the future. Let's go Valkyrie as well. And let's see if he over defends our Expo and he does. Perfect. So that works out for us still, even though he is in the damage lead and he's forced to use the fireball. I'm gonna go in. Hopefully our Valkyrie gets some damage. No. Uh, let's try to break through his cannon. Hopefully he doesn't have RG. Bro, I'm gonna go Valkyrie at the bridge on the left. Hopefully something happens here. Really nice kite on his end with the bomber. It's kind of unfortunate for us. We weren't able to get some damage. Go Expo again. I'm gonna go Skeletons and Ice Wizard to slow down this RG. We're gonna have to NATO his RG. This is gonna be a really weird interaction, but I think we're able to get some damage now, and we do. So, this is the first lock of the game, but this was a very, very crucial lock just because now we can honestly just rocket cycle. So, I really needed that lock, especially since I was down a lot of damage. Notice how I played my Expo here. I played it higher up so it's able to still get a lot of value on the defensive end if he plays like an RG in the back. And also this is the anti-fireball placement as well. Let's rocket his e for damage. I'm going to Valkyrie to bridge block his Monk so he's not able to get Monk chip damage. Really bad log on my end. I probably should have predicted his ability. Let's NATO his Bomber back for chip damage as well. He's probably going to fireball this, hopefully he doesn't, ah, oh. please, 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 please don't get a shot, no, we were doing so good earlier, okay, I think this shouldn't be the end of the world for us, I'm gonna, yeah, we can't go defensive expo, let's play our Tesla one tile over and ice was are high up, it's Valkyrie as well, and nice, so he wasn't able to hit our tower with the fireball as well, so we can take this opportunity to catch up in damage. Let's log and NATO to clean up his bomber and get some more chip damage. I'm going to go Tesla again to the side, and let's also Valkyrie. This is getting intense guys, this is getting really intense. This matchup is just really bad. If we win this guys, if we win this, I'm going to be so happy. I'm gonna be so happy if we win this. I'm gonna Ice Wizard again. Let's Tesla low this time. Probably not the best Tesla, yeah, especially since I'm not sure if he got the tower or not. But it's getting really close. Uh, we have to put this rocket down, please. Hopefully that gets there in time. Oh shoot, yes. Oh my gosh, what a game. What a game, guys. What a game. I should have BM'd him, but we didn't there. We're up against Mikidio, so this is the last game for Ultimate Champion. Hopefully we do well. I'm not sure what my win rate is, because we did lose quite a bit, honestly, on our way here. Um, I wonder what deck he's using. I've seen this guy before, I think. Okay, interesting how that Firecracker switched lanes. 
I'm gonna log this firecracker. Let's go Valkyrie up high as well to pull his goblins. Um Yeah, let's Ice Wizard. I don't wanna take that fire spirit damage. That's a lot of damage. Especially early on. With Ice Spell, you wanna limit as much damage as possible. Unless you're crazy, of course. But typically, you want to limit as much damage as possible. Um, so I want to assume this is Hog EQ. This guy is really, really putting a good amount of pressure on me. He's trying to force me into making a mistake. Let's NATO this into our Valkyrie. So now that our tornado is out of hand, we have to try to keep our Tesla in hand. He's probably going to try to go in with a Hog Rider right now, if I had to guess. Yeah, really nice Hog. Hopefully we're able to hit everything this time, and nice, we do. So that was a bad log on my end. We wasted like two elixir. I didn't really think that Rocket would have been able to clean everything up. This Ice Wizard for his goblins. Um, so far so good. I'm honestly surprised we didn't take too much damage. We only really took log damage right now, so I'm happy with the outcome. Let's go Tesla for his hog. Um, yeah, we have to nato this back. We're going to take a firecracker shot, unfortunately. Yeah, I should have planned that out a bit better. I probably should have played one tile higher for the Tesla. Just so he's not able to hit the Tesla and the tower. I'm going to also go in. So this is perfect for us since he just uses Ken in the middle. We're going to also uh, force him to use a lot of cards on offense. I mean on defense. It's Ice Wizard here. I'm going to have to NATO this up high. And Tesla down low. Just to clean up the hog. Oh shoot. The firecracker just splashed again. Let's rocket his firecracker and his tower. Let's separate his his Valkyrie from his hog so we're able to pull that to king. And nice. So far so good. All we have to do is try to catch up and I think we're in a good spot. Okay, let's try to avoid as much damage as possible right now. That's a Valkyrie to try to help DPS down his hog. I'm gonna NATO this up high, and we don't need to log this. Valkyrie's just putting in so much work, guys. I'm gonna go Expo on the left, and also Tesla the, the metal. And now he's just forced to play left side, so that's kind of what we want. It's Ice Wizard. This is going to clean up his firecracker and apply pressure. Let's rocket his tower for damage. Since we are lower in damage. So this is going to be very, very close. Let's Tesla down low in the middle. <sighs> um, let's go Expo opposite lane. And Valkyrie to predict whatever he puts down. So he chooses to go in on the left side, that's interesting. Nice, Expo is able to clean up the firecracker just like we wanted. Let's NATO this up. Perfect. So far so good. 29 seconds left, this is getting really really close. We can't let him get any major um, damage from the firecracker or the hog rider. Let's log as well, I'm gonna NATO. Just to help clean up, let's Tesla in the middle. Uh, Ice Wizard to help out. Bro, this is too close. We have to get our rocket down. We have to, guys. We have to. No! Oh my gosh. No way. Bro, another close game back to back. And I think we got the ultimate champion, guys. We did. So let's check what our win rate is because I'm really curious. No way, 73%. I think that's our highest win rate yet for Ice Bow. So yeah, thank you for...